The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival, and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the east when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. The Empire, with its vast military superiority, struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. Prologue. Gallia to Arms. <laughs> March, 1935, outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Whoa! Already? Hey there, guys! You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? your hands in the air, slowly. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin, and you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Brutown Watch. I'm Alicia, Alicia Melchiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh... <laughs> yes. Oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right, then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Thanks, fish. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. 
great. Welks? Is that you? Isara! Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait... Don't you live at the old General's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes. I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Uh. <sighs> I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone keep your heads down! Over there! Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? Yeah, I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. Okay, here's the plan. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Listen a second. There's something I should explain.
Yes! My turn, okay? Okay? Miss Melkiot. There's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war. I'll do it. What are those? Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. 
I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate. And of love blooming even through the flames of war. What follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died. Chapter 1 in defense of Bruel. Seeing that old mill spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful things about this town. Well, citizens, our enemy can't be far behind. I thank you for your help. Goodbye, and take care. <laughs> How's the packing coming along, East? Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. Martha, look! Wilkes is here! Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Welkies! <laughs> You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. And more important, you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? Ah, oh, a light jog won't hurt the little spud. <laughs> I should know. I've already had four of them. <laughs> Hello there. Um, I is Welkin in? Oh, hello, Alicia. What brings you here? I just wanted to apologize. For before. Um, here. This is for you. Really? These are for me? I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Heat it up before you eat it, all right? I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in?
Arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Welkies? And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good job, Welkies. What? Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just his hero. Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. Oh, well, I'm sure you will. Be good to my Welkies here, won't you? Okay, seriously, Martha, enough with the Welkies already. That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? Yep. It was taken before I was born. But that's Dad. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. And who's that with him there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The General's tank was his creation. Wait a minute. But I thought the General was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. The General was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. Yeah. We're not related by blood, but she's definitely my little sister. Sorry, was that question too personal? No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Yeah, I guess you were, huh? Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Why don't you see her off, Welks? I can take care of the rest of this on my own. All right, I will. I'll be right back. See you later, Isara. Safe travels. Wow, look at this. Brule's really becoming a ghost town. They've been leaving for a while. Just about everyone is evacuated by now. You can't blame them. Tensions are rising with the Empire. We'll survive. The Town Watch will guard and protect the home front. Everyone will come back someday. They'll come back when it's safe again, right? Mm -hmm. So, Welkin, I'm curious. Are you gonna join the army like your father? Hmm. I don't think that's for me. What I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Huh. A teacher? Yeah. Animals and insects, flowers and plants, they've always been my passion. I've learned a lot from nature. You see, my dad, he protected this country as a general, but it's just that I, I want to give back in my own way, my own way, you know what I mean? I think I do. You're sure about it? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's deep, in your own way. Hmm. What was that? That sound. Believe it. The mill. Miss Melchior, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squad of them in town right now. Get all the town watch together now. We've got to fend them off. They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help. Thanks, Wilkin. Now move out. Stay low.
I'll explain the mission. Okay, let's begin. It's up to us to defend Brule. Our target is the Imperials in Mill Plaza. Focus on taking down their captain. Breaking the chain of command should at least buy some time for the townspeople to get away. All right, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. Got a second? Listen close, and I'll explain. Here we go. Okay?
Ready to go. Hostile sighted. Now. Moving out. Sounds like a tank. Tank! That's not good. We're not equipped to take out a tank. I hate to say it, but we should probably pull out for now. Get off this road and into the alley to the east. It's too narrow for a tank to follow. And try to stay behind cover while moving. One blast from that turret and it's over. Here we go.
Here we go. Phew. Looks like we shook him. What are you doing from here? If they're rolling in the tanks, there's not much the Town Watch can do. We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. I'll dig in my heels at the main gate and do what I can to stall them. Okay, I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martha, then come back. Be careful out there, Welkin. Chapter 2 Sarah, Martha, please be okay. Martha! What's her problem? Is she pregnant or just fat? Who cares? Not gonna make any difference when she's dead. Stop this now! See what she's wearing? Take a good look at that shawl. She's a darkson. And that explains it. I thought this place stunk. Now I know it does. So, we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one. P.U. It's a regular pig farm in here. I will thank you to watch your tongue in this house. You have to leave, now. That's a big gun for such a little girl. Drop it. Isara! Huh? Hold it right there! Die! Dark son pig! Isara! Are you okay? I'm okay thanks to you. But Martha, I think she's... Martha! This isn't good. She's gone into labor. <laughs> Moving her would be dangerous. Right. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we gonna do? There are a lot of Imperials out there, Ys. It's only a matter of time before they take over the Mill Plaza. Welks, listen. The barn out back. What about it? Our fathers have left us something. Something that might get us out of this mess. Dad's tank! Whoa! I can't believe it's still here. And it's one of a kind. Here it is, the Edelweiss. Tamer built it especially for General Gunther. Yeah, and it worked great, too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. I enrolled in a maintenance class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. Well, that's great. But that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much, hardly any alterations at all. I just fitted it with a new turbine engine. It really improves on the power to weight ratio. The Edelweiss is field worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work, what's next? All right, Welks, you took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah, back in high school, once. We'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank, and we can move to a better location. Just leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. Isara! We ready to roll? Engaging engine! 
The Edelweiss is ready for deployment. Alicia could still be out there dodging bullets, buying time for people to evacuate. Here's the plan. We're gonna pick up Alicia and get out of town. All right, Edelweiss, move out! Here's the brief for this operation. All right, let's begin. We've got to stop them here. If this gate falls, there's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. The town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain.
My turn, okay? Thank you. Keeps up. Entering combat. The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut, Welks. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. Sorry, we're late. Welkin, you have a tank? We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tanks sighted, Welks. Switching to anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. All right, let's go take it down.
Here we go. If this game...
Moving out. Please hit. My turn, okay? Entering combat. Entering combat. Fire! Yes, we stopped it. Nice work, East. 
Woohoo! Now you're my hero, Welkin! The Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time at least. Welks! Welks! It's a boy! Martha had a boy! She... she gave birth in Dad's tank? Yes, and without complications. They're both perfectly healthy. Good! That's fantastic! And now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. Two hours after the first shots were fired, Bruel was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Bruel would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher. So that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. Someday. We'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. Chapter 3. Vassal Urban Warfare. In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Randgris, Gallia's capital, a town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Randgris, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. 
Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. So these are my new digs. Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or combat. Welkin? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. So, how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. No way! That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic! Coleo what? And did you just say beetle? Uh, Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle. King of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? Uh-huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very Welkin sort of compliment. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Come in. Excuse me, ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee, Welkin Gunther, reporting for duty. Ma'am, Galleon Militia Enlistee, Alicia Melchiot, also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Varat, commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Melchiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am. What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Valdio? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yep. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welkin was in science and I was in archaeology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying more, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now.
There's a strategy briefing later today, but you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randgreeze. They'll be your new home, so get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. First off, you have the scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. That, and a keen eye for enemies. A good scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. Next up, the shock trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. After them, we have Lancers, then anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. Sadly, they're slow and weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. They can restock other units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. They can place sandbags for cover, disarm mines, repair towers, you name it. Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. Lastly, we have the snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable distance. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. That should cover the basics. Go ahead and put a squad together now. There's room for 20, and you can swap units at any time. I'm Nochi Wordsworth. Hi. You know Corin, reporting for duty. Looks like I'll be joining you in Squad 7. The name's Nina Strice, and I look forward to a good workout out there.
Salinas Milton, at your service. My name's Hector Calvi, sir. I'm at your service from today on. I'm Jan Walker. I'll fight with everything I've got. Carl lands it, sir. It's a pleasure to join you. My name is Dallas Wyatt. I'm excited to be joining up. Marina Wolfstan, at your command. Hello, I'm Catherine O'Hara. I look... I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. Hane Salinger, reporting for duty, sir. Chess lock. <laughs> Kaboom. The name's Jane Turner. I'll do anything if it means putting holes in imps. You're handsome. I know you'll take real good care of me. Well, feel like you've struck a balance? Come back anytime you'd like to adjust your squad. As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye on that list. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. They'll be at the same level as the rest of the team you've taken into the field. You can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. Trust in your own judgment and pick a team you know you can work well with. That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. Wow. Squad leader's a lot of responsibility. Come to think of it, Faldio's heading up squad one, isn't he? I wonder if he's off sorting through this stuff now, too. I'd better get a move on.
Welcome to your worst nightmare. I'm the guy who's gonna whip you lazy blobs into shape. Still, I can't work miracles here. No amount of drilling beats real combat experience. I want you all to go out there, kick some imp tail, and then show me what you learned. I will train that experience into something you can actually use. Level you bums up. But don't go trying to hog all the glory. A squad's a team, and we got no need for stars. You will train as a class, and level up by class. Scout level two. When the scouts level up, that means each and every one of them goes up that level. You hear me, maggots? Any of you think he's better than the rest of the team, go home now! All right. Now I'll show you lowlights how this whole thing actually works. It ain't complicated. First, you go out there and fight, then divvy up that experience here. Once the experience you cram into a soldier class clears a set amount, it'll level up. Picking which class to level up and when is your job as the squad leader. Now give it a go. Train all you want. I've got all day. the bullet! No! You're better than this! Push those limits! Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human! to human. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the shock troopers. Looks like that session beat a... Got it? That's how training by class works. Now get out there and rack up some experience. Oh, and there's one more thing to add. Sometimes leveling up a unit class will unlock a hidden potential in them. You can think of potentials as the natural abilities your soldiers have inside them. Those abilities will form a big part of your strength in the field, so keep them in mind. Other times, leveling up a class will earn you clearance for a new order. Here, as long as we're talking about it, I'll teach you a classic, a real golden oldie. Orders are special commands you can give out as the squad leader. They can save your tail. It doesn't take a genius to see that leveling up your soldiers is the best way to beef up your squad. The soldiers will get stronger, and you just might unlock new potentials and orders. All that just from me working you sorry bums into the dirt. I just hope you maggots are ready for a real workout the next time I see you here. Welcome to R&D, man. What can I do you for? Huh? Wait, I know that insignia. You're Lieutenant Gunther, aren't you? I knew it! Man, I've heard about you. That evacuation at Brule was just... Wow! Protecting a tiny life in the middle of all that slaughter? Man, man! Oh, Lieutenant, you're good people. You get all my respect and then some, bro. What's going on, Leon? I could hear you from clear across the hangar. Oh, Casey, check it out! It's Lieutenant Gunther! He's the man, man! <laughs> Sorry about him, Lieutenant. He's like this all the time, I'm afraid. But where are my manners? I'm Kreese Cherney. I'm training here as a mechanic. Oh, oh, and I'm Leon Schmidt. But just call me Leon, bro. I'm your boy. So, Lieutenant Gunther, what brings you down to R&D today? We do work here on weapons development, making upgraded weapons and equipment. 
and that includes rifles and machine guns. We can even soup up your tank. Of course, research expenses aren't cheap. With rifles and other firearms, we'll mass produce new models as they're developed. You won't have to worry about making enough for your squad. We'll outfit them. For tanks, you can upgrade the baseline performance of the body itself or develop optional parts that you can add on to tweak out its specs. Right. You can choose which optional parts you want in the tank equipment section. Come in any time and make adjustments based on the needs of the operation at hand. Sorry, bro. Just not there yet. All set. All set for you, bro. It's done. Done. This one's perfect, bro. Well, sir, was that helpful? We're working here around the clock to make possible tomorrow what's out of reach today. Come again a little later. We'll do our best to have something useful for you by then. Yeah, you better come back soon, bro. I am all fired up to work on stuff for you. Welks.
There you are. I've been looking for you. Hey, Ys. How'd your enlistment go? No problems? I registered as a tank pilot and mechanic. Maintaining and operating the Edelweiss will be my responsibility from now on. I think it's nice that we'll all be on the same squad together. I think so too. So what are you up to now? The tank's hangar space is just through here. I was just carrying some Ragnite fuel back. It's used to power the tank, and also for the turret mounted cannon rounds. I guess I'm just more used to seeing it in street lamps and medical compounds. Seems like everything is Ragnite powered these days. That stuff is everywhere. Not enough of it for some people, though. It's the source of a lot of conflict. They say the Empire's invading only to get at all the Ragnite in Galian soil. Oh, that's right. I had something to give you, Welks. What's this? Father's flare gun. It was in the barn, but I thought you might have some use for it. Another hand-me-down. I gave it a once-over. It might be old, but it's still serviceable. I didn't mean... I just can't believe I'm a tank operator now. Thank you for this, Ace. I'll do a spot check on the Edelweiss now, to make sure it's ready to go at any time. All right, we'll get going for now then. See you later. I'll cut to the chase. Here's your mission. The Great Vassal Bridge was just taken by the Empire. It's a key strategic position. The Great Vassal Bridge? It's a major drawbridge crossing the canal in Vassal, just outside the capital. That bridge is a part of the central transit artery, leading into Randgreaves. Our mission is to take it back. The Empire has been running a blitz, with their shock troops outrunning their defense. Our 3rd Regiment will retake the bridge before defensive reinforcements can arrive. How quaint! The militia holding a little strategy meeting of its own! How long were you planning on hiding out in here, Verrat? My apologies, sir. We'll depart soon. Whatever. They're just country mice. It's not like there'll be much help. More help, perhaps, than your army unit that couldn't hold the bridge in the first place. Hey! Regardless, Vassal remains a critical position. We'll reclaim it immediately. Well, all good. See that you do. Who is that? General Damon, commander of the Central Forces. Central Forces? That's the army branch the militia was folded into, right? That's right. They say the general's an aristocrat. He looks down on the common militia. That doesn't make any sense. Right. Now that the war's begun, we all need to band together and fight to keep Gallia safe. Who cares at this point whether you're in the army or the militia? It's ridiculous. Gentlemen, let's return to the mission. We'll begin by taking back the Western Bank to gain a foothold for reclaiming the bridge. Lieutenant Gunther, I'm assigning Squad 7 to this mission. It's your first maneuver, so be smart. Yes, Captain. The other squads are on patrol. Stay sharp, and be ready to help take back the bridge. I'm counting on all of you out there. Now move out.
Here are details on the current operation. We're prepared to commence the operation. I look forward to good news from you. Split into two teams, offensive and defensive. Squad seven, move out. All right, it's our first mission. Let's split into two teams, city and Riverside. I'll lead the Riverside team towards the enemy encampment with the Edelweiss. Shock Trooper here. Lead the offense to me. City team, your job is to guard the base. Be ready for anything, including tanks. How long you think I've been an anti-tank man? A couple of tanks ain't no sweat. That's a spirit, Largo. Now, let's move out! Listen closely. This information could save your life. Huh, 
This ain't even fair. Here I come. You're doing well. Just keep it up. I'm on. Go down. down. Everybody be careful. Dahlians at 3 o'clock. Here we go! <sighs> Gotta love nature. The Great Basel Bridge is up ahead. Clear to advance. My turn, okay? Enemy unit spotting! Be wary of the alleys. It could be an ambush. Hurry with that reload. They're getting away. Get ready to die, imps. Just watch this. Enemies may be hidden. Be careful. Uh, they've got me pinned down. Make sure we control the high ground. Just hold out a little longer.
Here we go. It's just beyond the next corner. Hostile sighted. I don't like their attitude. How's their manpower now? Let's do this thing. Don't leave yourself open. Focus on making smart choices, soldiers. Turn, okay? Stay close up there. Enemy sighted. Just been piloting the Edelweiss to me. Pull it together. On the next corner. All units, watch your surroundings. Entering combat. Enemy sighted. I'm on it. Pay attention to the enemy's firing range. No stopping me! Here I come! Ready yourselves for the next attack. Good work. Keep it up. Are you? Sure. Make sure we control the high ground. I'm on it. Here I come! Damn tanks busted right through the stinking wall. Well, it's my turn now. Stick this in your pipe and smoke it. Stay sharp. Tanks can break through crumbling walls and trample down sandbags and trees. Hey! <laughs> 
This is an order. Watch the barrels of their guns. Been waiting here. Spotted an enemy. I expect results from all of you. Can slip past you. Just watch this. Objective ASAP. Here we go. Just keep up this pace. Engaging the enemy. Hostile gear to drown. I'm on it.
Rest easy. I'm on. I'm just warming up. Nice work. Engaging the enemy. I'm just warming up. I'm on. Go down. Target silenced. Head for the next. I'm on it. Hey! Engaging the enemy. I'm just warming up. Man down, every... Moving out. What is that tank? Operation complete. We took their base. You guys aren't with Squad 7 by any chance, are you? Yes, that's us. <laughs> Bingo! I've been looking for you. Meaning you, Hot Stuff, on the tank. Me? Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me, I... That must make you Lieutenant Gunther, am I right? Um, yeah. Yes, that's me. Oh, daisy What? <sighs> hey, you can't... Ah, nice to meet you, too. Now, let's get right to the questions. So, you're the son of the great General Gunther, huh? You look awfully young. How old are you anyway? Must be your first war, huh? What's been the uh, hardest experience so far? Um, Wait, happiest. I, no, oh, uh, funniest. I'd also like to know hobbies, favorite whoa. foods, uh, what you do on your days hey, off. Hey, lady! This is a combat zone. Excuse me, but what are you doing here anyway? Hey, give me a break, will ya? Scoops are near danger, and I'm near Scoops. That's right. The name's Ellet. I'm GBS Radio's top woman reporter. I smell a story. A good story. And you guys are it. So, you... Uh, you're a reporter? Very good. I'm a reporter, yes. I've been assigned to Squad 7 to conduct a series of interviews, thank you. Now, let's get back to those questions, shall we? Ugh. <sighs>
Ugh. Now he's giving interviews? Who does he think he is? Ooh, look at him. Son of some big hero. Please. He's still a schoolboy. No kidding. One little win and he's the new Grand Duke. Ah, oh, I hate kids. Ah, whatever. He'll learn soon enough. Only one thing matters out there in the field, and that's experience. Chapter 4. Operation Cloudburst. Squad 7's suppression of the enemy camp on the West Bank gave us the foothold we needed. Now we'll join the Army's vassal battalion in Operation Cloudburst to take back the bridge. Militia forces will take the point, crossing the bridge and attacking the Eastern Camp. Captain, crossing that bridge means breaching the enemy bridgehead. What sort of on-site backup and supplies can we expect from the Army on this? The plan calls for the Army to commence its operation after we've struck the bridgehead. Wait a minute. So we're just being offered up on a platter? I know how you feel. I felt that way when I was a militia foot soldier, too. But sometimes being a soldier means taking on tough missions even dangerous ones. Understood, Captain. I'm not saying you're wrong, Faldio. Breaching that bridgehead by ourselves is... It's going to be tough. Captain Barat, may I go observe the area around the bridge? Observe it? I don't mind, but... What are you... Welkin! Sergeant Melkiot, what is it? Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt the meeting. We're finished, it's fine. Now, I assume there's a reason for your visit? Yes, Captain. Welkin, I, I mean, Lieutenant Gunther, the squad, they're at each other's throats. What? Please stop them, sir. I tried to, but they... I couldn't. You want me to break it up? I don't know. Maybe it'd be better to just let them have it out. Let them have it out? You can't just ignore them. I'm not ignoring them. I think it's important that they say what they're thinking. Butting heads over differing opinions can be one way to bring people closer together. Well, but... that may be, but I still... 
Look, you can't just sit here while your squad's tearing itself apart. It's not right. Now get a move on, sir. Hey, I... Alicia? Sounds like he's got his hands full. It's all part of growing as a team. Lieutenant, it's either her or me, pal. Who let her in anyway? You really think I'm gonna work with a dark hair? She'll blow us all up. Besides, I can't stand the stink of her! Her type's got a bad reputation and everybody knows it. No darksons allowed, you hear me? Oh yes, I've heard everything you have to say. But I'm still a human being, the same as you. Besides... No evidence exists to substantiate what you call the Darkson Calamity. It's a myth. Excuse me? So what, you're calling me stupid Stop now? Stop it, that's enough! Okay, boss man. We won't fight alongside no Darkson. What about that, can't you understand? Another thing we ain't doing is taking orders from some hotshot Greenhorn. All right, fine. Now listen and listen good. I'll have that bridge back in Galia's hands in 48 hours. Huh? Now if my plan fails, which I doubt, then I'll resign. And Squad 7 will be all yours, Largo. But if my plan works, you'll take my orders and like it. <laughs> Your funeral, boss man. You sure about this? Yes, I am. But... wait a sec. Welcome. Welkin? Hmm? What's up? What's up? You just made an insane promise, that's what's up. I'm sorry, Welks. I shouldn't have argued. This is all my fault. It's nobody's fault, East. It's a war. We're all on edge here. And this mission certainly isn't helping. It's little wonder the troops are upset. Yeah. That's why pulling this operation off is the perfect way to bring the squad together. That'd be great if it works. But how can you possibly hope to take back the bridge in just 48 hours? Well, that's the hard part. Aha! Huh? Aha, what? I was hoping, but there they are. Isara, Alicia, think you can do me a favor? Sure, what is it? You follow me? But that's... Is that even possible? Well, Is, think you can make it by tomorrow? Yes, I'll get to work on it now. All right. I'll trust you on this. Thanks, Alicia. Well, let's get started.
All right, let's hear this brilliant plan. And it's too late to back out, boss man. Got that? So let's hear it. We're going to strike the enemy encampment on the east bank. Whoa, hold it. You're asking us to die for you? One squad ain't breaching that bridgehead, buddy boy. That would be suicide. We're not taking on the bridgehead. We're taking on this, the river. We'll use the fog as cover as we cross the river, then launch a surprise attack. Oh, come on. Is this just some game to you, boyo? Swimming a couple of foot soldiers over there ain't gonna do much if we got no tanks. Don't worry, I've got that covered. Isara? I fitted the Edelweiss with water-resistant measures to allow for submersion. It will only hold for a few minutes, but it should be enough to cross. Hold on just a sec. Ships come through here. It's gotta be too deep for a tank. We're covered. Look, see that over there? What's that? Grass? Missile reed, a tall aquatic plant found in the estuaries of some rivers. I noticed them when I came down to observe the river. This stretch runs shallow. Shallow enough for a tank to drive across. Trust me on this. <coughs> First, the Edelweiss will cross over and clear out any Imperial patrols on the shore. Then Lieutenant Gunther will send up a flare, signaling the rest of us to follow by boat. Right. Now let's get started. I'll see you on the other side. You hear something? Yeah, I do. What is it? It's me. Swims just fine. Fall in, Sevens! Let me brief you on Operation Cloudburst. We'll be working with the Vassal Defense Battalion. Operation Cloudburst is set to begin. I know you can all make this work. 
take down the bridgehead as quickly as possible. Squad 7, move out! All right, that's everyone. Ready to move out, squad? You're crazy. You know that, right? Incoming message from Squad 1 leader Faldio Lanzet on the West Bank, sir. Enemy company in motion, presumed headed east across the bridge toward our position. A full company? That's bad news for us. We'll have to move fast. We're taking that camp before the cavalry rolls in. Listen closely. This information could save your life. Turn, okay? begins. Target sighted. Please don't let up on the offense.
sweet dreams. Man down. Everybody be careful. Entering combat! Watch me dance! Make use of the buildings! Damn it! They're pushing us back! begins.
Nothing personal. I'm on. Medic! Please stay strong! I'm on my way! You gotta help, please! Please try to hurry up. Entering combat! Hostile sighted! It's injured. Remember to use Ragnade. Enemy sighted. Make it. Everybody be careful. Thank <laughs> you. 
come. I don't want to go anywhere. Turn, okay? Make use of the watchtowers. Buildings for cover. What's all that noise? Has something happened? Emergency wire from Alpha Camp, sir. Under attack. Request reinforcements. What? How did Galia get across? Ah, don't wake the men up. Get out there now. Entering combat. Be careful. Here we go. Fire! Who are these guys? Hostile sighted.
are proceeding nicely. Damage sustained. Entering combat. Entering combat!
fire. Damage minimal. Don't fail me now. Now! Man down. Everybody be careful. There's no time to waste. Your damage sustained.
Entering combat. Medic! Stay with us. It won't be long now. Please, do what you can. Enemy sighted. Buildings for cover. I'm on it. Yeah. Just keep up this pace. All units, please get to your positions. Turn, okay? Please hit. I'm impressed, but not surprised. Let's win this one, Rock. I'm on it.
I'm on it. Yeah. Just keep up this pace. Nice work. We've occupied the enemy encampment at the bridge's end. Drawbridge control room secured, Welks. Excellent. Open it up, East. Let's see how their tanks like the river. Yes, sir. Ragnite turbines on. Stand by to raise drawbridge. It appears that Lieutenant Gunther's plan worked. An impressive start, soldier. Thank you, Captain. The kid's crazy. Drove a damn tank right into the stinking river. Yeah, and I can't believe it worked. I'm still in shock. Right, you two. Now hold up your side of the bargain and you listen to Welkin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The kid might got the chops to command, but that don't mean I gotta like any dark hairs. Hey, come on! It's okay, Alicia. I'm used to it by now. But I hope... Hope I'm not interrupting anything. It's me again, reporting for GBS. Lieutenant Gunther, that was quite an impressive result on your first mission. Yes, thanks to the squad's hard work, we managed to take back the Great Vassal Bridge. Any impressions on things to come now that you've gotten your first taste of victory? Impressions? Well, let's see. Bridges are important. They link the roads that bring people what they need. I'd like to become a sort of bridge, linking my crew together. I think that's my new goal. This is about all I can do. But maybe, once everybody returns... ...they'll see a couple of lion's paws blooming. 
and it'll start to feel like home again. Hey, Alicia, we're heading out soon. Okay, I'll be right there. Wildflowers, do your stuff. Chapter 5, The Cloden Wildwood. Thanks in part to Squad 7, the Great Vassal Bridge is back in our hands. That pushed the front line back, forcing the Empire to gather forces in central Gallia. Does this mean we're headed that way as well? The army will take that front. Meanwhile, the militia will head south. Our next target is here, in the Cloden area. The Cloden Wildwood. I was there last summer taking soil samples. It's a dense forest with plenty of hills and valleys. It's hard to get around in there. What's our strategic objective there, Captain? The Empire has set up a supply base there to fuel their invasion of central Gallia. I see. So if we seize the supply base, we cut off the flow of supplies moving north. Precisely. The 3rd Regiment's objective is to take that base. All squads are to prepare for woodland combat and await orders. Good luck. Dismissed. Woodland combat? What a nightmare. What do you mean? The woods dull your sense of direction, and poor roads make for slow advances. This'll be our toughest operation yet. Maybe so, but deeper in the woods you have a better chance of spotting rare foliage. There's one kind of insectivorous plant in Cloden called the Moondew that can suck a... All right, I get it. You really do have a one-track mind, you know that? I'm saying nature isn't just a burden. We might find the key to victory in the woods. All right, I'll keep a lookout for your key while I'm slogging along. Hopefully your plant won't have eaten it. Gallia's mongrels have reclaimed Vassal Bridge. Are the men of our defensive units cowards? This loss is a stain on the Emperor's honor. Useless fools. I hear the enemy cross the river in tanks. And whoever's leading them is no fool. On the contrary, this was a fluke. These are peasants, nothing more. Peasants and barbarians. How could they be anything else? If birthright is all it takes to win a battle, you must find war so very boring. The issue here is Gallia's resistance and how to end it, swiftly and decisively. Exactly. They'll use their victory at Vassal Bridge as footing for a counter-strike in central Gallia. How shall we proceed? What says your grace? We will extinguish these flames. Our course is clear. The Gallian army must be crushed. Require reinforcements. They will be sent to Central Gallia. Now then, the route of supply through Cloden has to be made unshakable. Gregor, see to a restructuring of our central forces. Then you will continue to press northward. Sir, 
We will head to Barius. Selvaria, be so kind as to accompany us there. With pleasure. And to the ends of the earth, your grace. The Cloden base and supply lines. See to them, Jaeger. They need protecting. Galia may have already dispatched troops to the south. Therefore, make haste to Cloden. Of course. Leave it to me, your grace. What are we doing? Remind me whose idea was it to come out here anyway? Enough with the trees already. You could say that again. Woods are so thick you can't tell up from down with these trees. Here we go. Hey, great. What did he find? A map in the dirt? Alicia, hold on to these for me, will you? Sure, Welkin. What are these, some kind of nuts? No. Actually, they're Longbeard goat droppings. Ah! Gross! You made me hold poo? Are you crazy? Ugh. Hey, Welks. Did you find something useful? Come here. Take a look at this. Hmm. The grass has been trampled down, looks like. What's the deal with that? An animal trail. With any luck, this could be our way out. Animals have a natural instinct to find the most efficient path. That's why the grass is trampled down. They snap off the branches, they eat the grass. As a result, they clear a perfect trail. So if we make like goats and follow it, the path will take us through. The enemy supply base should be nearby. This is where we'll start our operation. <laughs> That's really nice, Rosie. What song is that? It's so pretty. Hmm? Oh, just a song I sang back in the day. Oh, you used to be a singer? I didn't know that. Ha! Huh. You paint a much prettier picture than it was. I used to sing at a bar in my town. Still, that song was really pretty. I'd love to hear the whole thing sometime. Heh. <laughs> Maybe I'll put on a little show one of these days. We're not alone here. I'll go investigate. Put your hands in the air! Mike? It's... a pig? It looks like a Porcavian piglet. What's your story? Get I'll take a look further in. <sighs> well, what did you find? There must have been a skirmish here. It looks like a stray bullet hit his mother. Even all the way out here, the war is still claiming. You lost your family too, huh, little guy? Left all alone. Well, Alicia, does he want to come with us? What? Can we? We're the militia. Every Gallian has the right to join. You hear that? As of today, you're a member of Squad 7, little guy. Mike? Mike! Whoa! 
Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots! Trade all you want! I've got all day! out of the Lancers. Okay, you've earned clearance for a new order. Put it to good use out there. Closer to human. Okay, you burn. Come. Welcome, bro. I'm stoked you're here, man. What can I do you for? Sorry, bro. We're just not there yet.
Here is a brief on the task at hand. Now, let's begin the operation. I'm confident victory is within reach. The enemy's supply base is through these woods. Squad 7, move out! The tank will follow the road to the south. Team 2, take the trail to the base. All right, listen up and I'll explain. Anti-tank gunnery sighted on the north bank. Pushing ahead could prove dangerous. We'll have to hope Team 2 can take it out from behind. Enemy supply base sighted. It's just ahead.
taking the stage. When this thing's over, I'm going back to the farm. Enemy sighted! Try to stop me. Front lines, return fire! Here we go! Ah, gotta love nature. We've got another cut for you. <laughs> I'm on it. Ready to die, imps. Fresh meat found. Make good use of cover as you put.
Something pushed around here. Help me out. Enemy unit. Entering combat. Here we go! <sighs> Gotta love nature. Hostile sighted! Take out that supply base! Get ready to die, imps. Fresh meat found. Take a good look at your surroundings. Take that Imperial supply base. Entering combat! I've got a visual of a supply base up ahead.
entering combat. Now! You're doing well. Just... I'm impressed, but not surprised. Here I come. I can do that. Enemy supply base sighted. It's just ahead. that Excited. Moving groups while backing each other up. Ready for action. Smells like pool. Just keep up this. Everybody be 
careful. Put yourself at risk. Rest easy. I'm on it. I can do that. Well, do you have a visual on that base yet? Entering combat! Let's tip the scales in our favor! Entering combat! Avoid hasty action at all costs! for action. Smells like pool. Time for a dirt nap. Ah! Did you see that? You're doing well. Just keep it up. Medic! Sit tight. Help's almost there. It's in your hands! Watch out for long-distance gunfire! Ah, they blocked the 
Get ready to die, imps. Rest easy, Ma. I'm coming home alive. Ready for action. They've got me pinned down. We're fishing a barrel here. Okay? I've got a visual of a supply base up ahead. Enemy unit approaching. Here we go! We're coming to help! I got here as soon as I could, but apparently not soon enough. General Jaeger, you brought reinforcements? A few, but this place is almost surrounded. We'll lose both the base and supplies if we hold here. Listen, I want you all to pack up what you can and get ready to evacuate. What will you do, General? Buy you boys some time. Just leave the enemy to me. Please don't put yourself at risk.
sustained. Thank you. Have you secured a view of the field there? Enemy spotted! Do you still have sufficient... Put yourself at risk. Try to strike them first. I got it! I see an enemy! Watch out for gunfire from long range. supply base. Ready for my close-up? Check your ammunition stores. Everyone get ready to...
enemies. I hope you're ready for my close-up. Enemy sighted! at all cost. Entering combat. Get ready to die, imps. <laughs> Just try to stop me. Ambush, soldiers.
thank you. Do you have visibility there? Entering combat. Ah, gotta love nature. I'll do my very best. Enemy supply base sighted. It's just ahead. Here I come! Try to stop me. Found one. Don't fight off more than you can shoot. Medic! Please stay strong. I'm on my way. Those imps are gonna pay. Try to keep that front line. Looks like Gali has got some competent tank men. General Yeager, the base patrol has finished evacuating along with the supplies. All right. That means this base is just another patch of woods now. We'll thank the Gallians for this another day. Get the last of your men out. Welts, the enemy is abandoning the base. One step ahead. They timed that perfectly. I'm just glad that backup unit arrived late. Imperial units closing in. Watch out! Ready for action. Sounds like Ooh. Ah, they blocked the road. Well, do you have a visual on that base yet? Don't bite off more than you can chew. Operation
Well done, soldiers. The operation was a success. Another victory for Welkin Gunther! Nope, not this time. All the glory goes to this little guy. Mike? Way to go, Hans. First day on the job and you're already a hero. Our success today was thanks to the animals living in these woods. Mike, Mike. So, uh, who named the... Captain Verat, I'd like to introduce Squad 7's newest addition, Hans. Hans, I hear you performed admirably today. I expect great things from you. Dismissed. My Yurik! Chapter 6. A Desert Encounter. This is one strange place. Rocks with holes in them. Dug up ground as far as the eye can see. Not always. They say this used to be a huge ancient city. Now there's nothing but desert left. We all know what happened. The Darkson Calamity happened. They say the Dark Hairs used some kind of dark arts to burn the city. Left nothing but ash can't see what kind of magic you'd use to burn up this much land, though. It's just crazy. I don't know. Isara said that was a myth with no real historical evidence. Look, their kind has been digging up Ragnite since forever. So who's to say they don't know some weird, darkseny type way to use the stuff as a weapon? I'm just saying. Anyway, as I was saying, we are in the middle of the Badlands. And what exactly are we doing here? We've received some intelligence. They're saying the Imperials have set up a base near the Barius ruins. Squad 7 was sent out here to investigate. We need to verify the information. Imperians here? Some sandbox to come play in. I don't get those Imperians. Who knows what they're thinking? <laughs> She's right. Something is definitely up here. I mean, I just can't figure it out, you know? Why would they occupy this place? Enemy sighted! Tanks at 040. Distance 800. Hold on. Yes. There are foot soldiers as well. And they're taking up combat positions. Well, it looks like we found our bad guys. Squad 7, combat formation. to human.
Aus Sorry. Welkin, here to fine-tune your squad. Oh, and there have been some new recruits. You should take a look at the master list. Come back any... I didn't think you could look any gloomier. Oh, it's you. Leave me be. No need to be unfriendly, is there? Is there something on your mind, Gregor? His Grace Maximilian. Barius holds no strategic worth. Why lead a force there himself? He took Selvaria with him, so it probably has something to do with the Valkyrer. His grace places too much stock in the power of the Valkyra. Maybe. But I can understand the fascination easily enough. The power of the Valkyra is enough to claim all of Europa. Even without it, the Empire's military strength is quite capable of taking control of Europa. The stronger you are, the shorter that road. <laughs> I say let him be. My homeland's independence is riding on Maximilian's word. I need him to return to the court with enough clout to honor that deal. Relax, we'll hear all about their desert adventures soon enough. You will now be briefed on the operation.
All right, we're set to begin. Good luck. The enemies spread out through the desert region. Squad 7, move out! This place is really something else. I've never seen rocks with holes like these. Paulio was saying those holes are the result of the same blast that scorched the area. There are furrows dug into the ground, too. Must have really been some explosion. Are you serious? That's crazy. Yeah. But those trenches and rock walls should make for solid cover. On an open field like this, we'll use whatever we can get. Squad 7, move out! begins. Requesting backup. Don't let the heat get to you. Dreams. Man down. Everybody be careful. Understood. Dreams. Man down. Everybody be careful. How are you doing on ammo? I'm sure it's hot, but try to stay focused. stores. Don't get pinned down. Fire back.
My turn, okay? Medic! Medic! begins. A second slip could kill you out there. You're headed towards the machine gun. Gun is 
taking the stage. I see an enemy. Keep your eyes peeled out there. Ready for my close-up? I have the power. Keep an eye on the uneven... Let's do this thing. Entering combat. Hostile sighted. You get! 
I'm impressed, but not surprised. I want all of you returning alive. Let's tip the scales in Galia's favor. Let's do this thing. New target sighted. Here I come! The hunt begins. Personal. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Who are these guys? Roger. Let's do this thing. Try to keep your footing in that sand. Here I come. Huh. Please get back up to me. Let's do this thing. New target sighted. Damn it. 
Entering combat. I'll map the floor with you. stores. Let's do this thing. Enemy sighted. Let's do this thing. Enemy sighted. Go down! Enemy unit neutralized. Just watch this. The hunt begins. begins. Don't stray too far from the squad. Watch out for their return fire. Now! Entering combat. Enemy sighted. All units, check your current. Boom! Just watch this. Go! 
Entering combat. Gotta love nature. I'm impressed, but not surprised. Here we go! Enemy sighted! Watch this. You're done! Rest easy, Ma. I'm coming home alive. Careful, you're headed towards a machine gun. You're... Been waiting here. I'm on it. Entering combat.
<sighs> Gotta love nature. Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. Try to keep your footing in that sand. Entering combat! Looks like the wind's really picking up. I suspect it's a sandstorm, Welks. These Badlands are infamous for sandstorms, bad enough to drop visibility to zero. I see. That'll make it tougher to spot the enemy until the storm blows over. Yes, but the same applies to the enemy. Now is our chance to advance undetected. Hiding within the sandstorm is a valid tactic when crossing ground with no natural cover. Good idea. Thanks, Ys.
Here we go. Sighted at 2 o'clock. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> I'm on it. Entering combat. Are there any weak spots in their defenses? I'm on it.
Let's do this thing. Ain't no stopping me. Don't let the heat get to you. Go down.
Let's do this thing. Ain't no stopping me. Go down. My turn, okay? Dodging. Return fire. Hm. Nice work. Keep taking them down. Don't pass up the Let's do this thing. Here I come. Okay? Let's do this thing. You're doing well. Just keep it up. I'm on it. Okay? Care Operation complete. We took their base. Huh? What's this supposed to be, anyway? What a weird place for something like this. There you all are. Hey there, Faldio. I didn't know you were out here, too. I'm an archaeology major, remember? I was ordered to observe the ruins' interior. The shape of it really is unusual. I've never seen anything like it. I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. Hmm. Where could it have been? This building was supposedly erected millennia ago by the Valkyrie themselves. So they actually existed then? Yes. The Valkyrie make a sudden appearance in European history thousands of years ago. Records say they brought with them incredibly advanced technology and divine might. Then one day, their history just ends. The Bakura just disappeared. I always thought they were just a myth. That's it. I remember now.
Remember what, Welkin? What are you shouting about? The Dread Nautilus. This structure looks just like a Dread Nautilus. A Dread Nautilus? What's that? You don't know? They're marine cephalopods. They live inside pointy spiral shells. And these ruins look just like that shell. I wonder if there's some connection there. Welkin, you can be such a... Hmm? What's up? Nothing. Forget it. Right. Let's take a look inside then. We may find some clue to why the Empire is out here. Alicia, I want you to come help Faldio and me look around inside. Largo, Rosie, and Isara, you stay here. Be on the lookout for movement in the area. All right, sir. Please be careful. Tell me, Silvaria, do these walls offer an answer to our search? I pray, where sleeps the ancient power? What do you read, child? Valkov, the Holy Lance, scorcher of the vast earth, asleep eternal in the bosom of Randmaze, made pillar of its keeper's keep. Kept thereby for eon without end. Then it's true. The sacred lance lies buried within Ron Grease's walls. But your grace, how do you intend to control the lance once it is found? <laughs> Worry not. A beast fit to bear that burden will soon be at our disposal. With this, our dream is made hard fact. Our crown shadow will extend to all of Europa. Chapter 7 The Battle at Barius. Ten hundred thousand men and beast therewith. It says this area used to be one of the cities lost in that purge as well. So they did use Ragnite. It was in the middle of that destruction that the Valkyrer suddenly came into the picture. Supposedly they rose to face the Darksons, armed with sacred lances, blue with flame. That became the War of the Valkyrer. I had a picture book about that as a girl. But it's fiction, right? Like a fairy tale. Ruins like these dot the European map. Traces of the culture that once ruled the continent. The majority of the anthropological community now agrees that the Valkyrer did exist. Wow, this is so educational. The Valkyrer won and rose to power while the Darksons were scattered across Europa. There are some who worship the Valkyrer as the saviors of Europa even today. Meanwhile, the Darksons got branded with the stigma of their past and were persecuted. 
With no land of their own, they had to work as itinerant laborers and ragnite miners. Which is why there are so many Darksen still working in the industrial sector today. I never knew that. Come to think of it, Isara's dad was an engineer, wasn't he? Anyway, that's enough history for today. Let's keep checking for Imperial tracks. I've been looking, but I still ain't seen nothing but sand. Those imps got some strange tastes if they're sunning themselves out here. What's got you, Rosie? Ain't like you to be so quiet. You got the runs or something. You're foul, Largo. And I'm just annoyed. Takes some kind of brass to blow up a chunk of turf this big, don't you think? Looks like the dark hairs have been bad news for the rest of us folks since day one. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you think I mean? No archaeological proof exists to support the theory that Darkson's destroyed Barius. Look around. How much more proof do you need? And it's an unfair generalization to assume that all Darkson's cause trouble for others. You saying you don't? Look, it's cause of you people that I, that my whole... All right, time out, you two. You stay out of this, Largo. We're on patrol here. You keep squawking, and we're likely to get sniped. Shh. You too, kid. You know Rosie's got a temper on her. She wouldn't go off if you didn't talk back. I don't believe anything I've said is untrue. Stubborn as mules, both of you. Falio, what is that? It's called the Valkyrian Spiral. Okay, so what is it? I was talking about their power before, remember? The sacred blue flame? The spiral motif on their relief carvings are said to represent inexhaustible power. Oh, I didn't know that. Still, we haven't seen any Imperials here. Not even any signs of entry. I guess it's possible that this wasn't what brought the Empire out here. Well, the others are waiting. Let's go back. Sure, let's go. Huh? What in the... Alicia, what just happened? I don't know. I barely even touched it and this door just opened. Whoa. It looks like it keeps going. An underground chamber in the Barius ruins. This is a huge discovery. Should we go in? Do you have to ask? All right, let's take a look. Whoa, what is this place? It seems like it goes on forever. everywhere. What do they say, Faldio? I'm not sure. I wish I could tell you they're too ancient for me to decipher. Welkin! We're not alone. Who's there? Well, 
How surprising to find you here. We don't get many visitors. I won't ask how you were able to break in. It's not really important. But you defile this sanctum with your presence. Uh, guys, that's Maximilian. Maximilian? Wait, but he's the enemy commander. Hold it right there! You take one more step and I'll shoot you down, I swear I will! Uh, what? Lower your weapon. Your lives are worthless to me, but I do not wish to stain this sacred place with blood. If you are determined to have this confrontation, why don't we settle it outside? Welkin. Welkin? So... You're the brat who's responsible. My compliments for the vassal bridge and the base in Cloden. You quite impressed Jaeger. He was singing your praises, boy. Silvario, come. Sir. Oh, now is our chance to take out their commander. She's right, Faldio. Let's go! Uh... Right. Let me catch you up on the current situation. That tank is our target. We have to stop it. Squad 7, move out! <laughs> now, dear Galleons, flee or be crushed underfoot of the Batonus. Your Grace. I will eliminate the forces east of the temple, then return to provide support. Very well. Though I doubt I shall require your assistance. The Batamis shall rest atop their riven camp before long. Welkin, take a look at that tank. Holy... With armor like that, I don't figure my anti-tank lance will do much good. And I don't like the look of that cannon. Standing in front of that thing's a bad idea. Let's watch and wait for now. It has to have some kind of weak point. Here we go!
Lisa, back up to me. Never again. I'm not done yet. Who are these guys? Lisa, back up to me. Just watch this. I'm on my way. You're going down. I'm on my way. Everybody'd have it easier with you gone. Just watch this. Enemy units 
sighted. Be careful, soldiers. Here we go! Die for me, sweetie. You got it, hon. Come out and fight like a man, honey. Hit, please. and no victory. Loose your fire, men! Annihilate our enemies! down with as much rubble as we can throw in front of it. Listen closely. This information could save your life. Yeah. 
Scotty ain't listening to me. I'll do my very best. Medic! Don't you worry. I'll take care of it. Damn it, if I could trade places, I would. Getting pushed around here, help me out! Combat. main cannon is lethal. There must be a way to stop that thing. Welks, look at that. What are those? They're sticking up out of the top of the tank. They're radiators. Heat sinks for dissipating the temperature of the Ragnite fuel cell. They must be using them to cool the cannon after firing it. Welks, if we destroy them, it could greatly upset the tank's function and stability. All right, let's try it. We just need to get to those radiators after the cannon fires. They're positioned atop the tank, so ground units will need to climb the ladders. Okay, we've got to take out the guns and get troops onto that tank. this.
to me. Please, you gotta help. Doesn't it have any weak spots? Just watch this. What is that giant thing? Bring me ammo. I need bullets here. Entering combat! We aren't sure of its capabilities. Please be careful. We're sending units out to both sides. Entering combat! Now! That leaves two radiators. Keep it up, Sevens! Lieutenant, squads one and three have suffered heavy losses out east. I'm pulling them out. Welcome. It's me, Valdio. I'm sorry, but we couldn't do a thing against her. She had a spiral lance and shield. They... They were the arms of a Valkyria, Welkin. It's likely her unit will be arriving there soon, as backup. Do not, I repeat, do not engage her. Now hurry up and stop that tank. Understood. We need those radiators out now, Sevens! Don't let that tank through! Get spook, soldiers. Follow me. Here we go. Fail me now. Major damage sustained. Fire! 
you, sure. They're headed that way, please. Heed my words and no victory. Loose your fire, men! Annihilate our enemies! That tank is our target. We have to stop it. Squad 7, move out! Entering combat! Entering combat. Fire! Man down. Everybody be careful. Leave the back up to me. Been waiting here. You Joker still all right? No, I'm never going to risk. I'm on my way. Medic, medic.
turn, okay? We'll be there in a minute. Hold out till then. No unnecessary risks out there, soldiers. Move out. Entering combat. Ah! Now! Entering combat. Here we go! Oh, gotta love nature. Now! Heed my words and no victory. Loose your fire, men! Annihilate our enemies! Entering combat!
Entering combat! Heed my words and no victory. Loose your fire, men! Annihilate our enemies! Sure. I'll do my very best. You're going down! Open fire! You got it, Han! Imperial tank approaching. Entering combat!
Entering combat. Ah, gotta love nature. I'm on my way. Everyone get ready to intercept. Been waiting here. No unnecessary risks out right. there, soldiers. Move out. Entering combat. I'll do my very best. Everybody'd have it easier with you gone. You can't let them provoke you. Destroy that op- You're going down! I'm on my way. Try to keep your heads down. Entering combat. that oversized tank. I'm on my way.
Entering combat. Heed my words and no victory. Loose your fire, men! Annihilate our enemies! Here we go! Capabilities. Please be careful. Don't let them go. Chase them down. Sure. Come out and fight like a man, honey! Entering combat! We're under fire here, requesting backup! Look at that ruin fragment. It's coming down after that last hit. If it falls now, it'll crush the Edelweiss under it. Pull out of here on the double. Everybody keep an eye on where those walls are falling. Doesn't it have any weak... Here we go! Entering combat! Now! Entering combat!
Entering combat. Now! Maintain your lines. I'm on my way. So that's their commander. Been waiting here. I just ain't feeling it here. You joke is still all right? Thank you. Entering combat! Don't let that tank through! of my souls. Focus on making smart choices. in order attack with everything you've got heed my words and no victory loose your fire men annihilate our enemies
I'm on my way. Everybody have it easier with you gone. I'll do my very best. Thank you. Here we go! Thank you. What is that giant pit? I'll do my very best. Just watch this. We aren't sure of its capabilities. Please be careful. Entering combat! Heed my words and no victory. Loose your fire, men! Annihilate our enemies! Please. 
been waiting here. Don't give up now. I'll do my very best. Everybody'd have it easier with you gone. Tighten up perimeter defenses. Stay calm. I'm on my way. Is everybody all right? Maximilian. Cobalt flames of the Valkyrie. Smite our foes! All forces. There stands Gallia. Claim her! troops have arrived. If the reports are true, we can't beat it. Everyone, focus on that last radiator. Imperial tank approaching. Destroy that oversized tank. That much mass. Where is the exhaust? I'm on my way. Everybody'd have it easier with you gone. You're going down. I'll do my very best. All right, that's the last of the radiators. Ah. Your Grace, are you all right? Fine. The tank itself is perfectly intact, though not for long at this rate. Understood. I'll be there momentarily, sir. The enemy tank has been damaged. That should also impair its defenses, Sevens. Everybody, concentrate fire on that tank. Take it down!
Destroy that oversized tank. Please focus. Thank you. I'll do my very best. Here I come!
damage sustained. Just watch this. I'm on my way. Everybody'd have it easier with you gone. Don't let them go! Chase them down! Your Grace! Are you injured? Silvaria, plans for the Marmota must be adjusted to account for these failures. In due time, Grace. You're in danger here. My men will see you to safety. Yes! We managed to beat that thing back! Nice work out there, Lieutenant. I've sent the rest of the Eastern team to join you there. Welks, the enemy forces have begun to retreat. Then it's our turn to advance. Don't let Maximilian get away! Such power! Hmm. I see Gallia's peasant army has the will to win. All units, retreat! Protect his grace at all costs! We drove the Empire back, but not without sustaining heavy casualties ourselves. We 
never thought the commander of the entire Imperial force would be there. Not just the commander. Maximilian had that woman with him. What was she? I can't believe she's human. In her hands, born cobalt lance and shield, therewith to strike down all man's arrows. What? One account of the Valkyrie describes them in those terms. You can't mean that she... But they existed thousands of years ago. If they'd survived, we'd know. I'm not saying I'd buy all the legends either. I realize that it sounds a little crazy. When what we saw out there could only have been the Valkyria of legend. I know. Chapter 8 the Having been driven back, the Empire retreated from Barius, and Squad 7 began its return to the capital of Randgris. I'm worried, boss. The scouts were due back a long time ago. I haven't heard a thing. Welkin, we should look. The enemy could be closer than we think. Right. If you get hurt! Largo! We've gotta move our butts now! Two more minutes and we'll be dead! Damn! No choice. We're outnumbered. Everybody take cover! Come on, Isara! Now! Right. Looks like we got separated when that blast threw us down here. Oh. Alicia, there are probably still Imperials camped out up there. It's just a matter of time until they spot us here. We should move as soon as we can. Are you hurt anywhere? Do you think you can walk? I think I'm fine. Ah! Scratch that. I think my ankle sprained, actually. But I should be okay. It's not too bad to walk on. Sorry, I know it hurts, but you've got to tough it out for now. Of course. Great. Now, let's try to sneak out of this mess before we're spotted.
Back again. Alicia, here's a map of the area. Looks like they've got us surrounded. to start moving let's sneak out of their perimeter without being spotted wow it's really gotten dark the lack of light means it's harder to see enemies in the distance so watch out ow is your ankle gonna make it sorry i don't know how much i can run like that's all right you set the pace and i'll follow Is that sound a mortar? Have they spotted us? No, their aim is too far off. They're probably trying to scare us out with it. If we're careful, we can predict where they'll fire and steer clear of the target area. Here we go. Ah, 
Gotta love nature. Enemy sighted! Hey, Welkin. What's that light? Oh, that's a luciferant. It's bioluminescent. The same sort of thing as a firefly. Hey, wait. The luciferant feeds mostly on manure. There could be an animal trail here. With luck, it might let us sneak past without the enemy spotting us. Okay? Turn, okay? Here we go. These leaves. Great. This is Ponicera. What's up, Welkin? It's a wild herb that works well on bruises. Just have to grind the stem and leaves down. Alicia, let me put this on your ankle. It... it kind of stings. But I think it hurts a little less now. Thank you, Welkin. Okay, let's push on ahead. We might find more Ponicera growing nearby. Enemy sighted! Searchlights. This is bad news. What do you figure will happen if they see us? They'll radio our location to the mortars and we'll see them land a whole lot closer. Not high on my list of good things. We'd better keep our heads down out here. Love nature. Moving out. 
out. Turn, okay? Ready to go. Think of dodging. Please hit. Not that bad. Here we go. Enemy sighted.
Gotta love nature. Turn, okay? I'll pull through. turn, okay? I'll pull through. Ah, gotta love nature. Okay, this is probably a safe distance. I wonder if Alicia's almost here. should be safe here at least for a little while let's look for a spot where we can rest right it's too dark to cover much ground even if we tried who'd build a cottage way out here not that I'm complaining or anything How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you walk so far on it. No, it's not too bad. Don't worry. That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. It just figures you'd know about herbs well then. <laughs> this here is called aloe severa. It's a succulent in... There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. 
<laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. Very well, Doc. I entrust my ankle's care to you. All right, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or swimming. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips turned into a love of nature for me, too. The general out collecting bugs? That's unexpected. Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic military hero. He had his own share of worries, though. Yeah? My mom died as a casualty of the First European War. I don't think Dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. But everybody else was always praising him for being a great hero. The war won him respect and adulation, but it also cost him the love of his life. I think that always weighed on him. I had no idea. But when he was out in the woods playing with me, he was always so bright and happy. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. Oh, Welkin. Alicia, someone's coming. Freeze! Uh, Woken, what? He's badly wounded. I'm surprised he can even walk. Help me. Welkin, do something! Well? It's no use. The wound's way too deep. It hurts. It's so dark. Oh, God, Mother! Mother! It's okay. Don't be afraid. Mother's right here. Everything's fine. See? Yes. It's... <laughs> you find the boss and Alicia? No, still nothing. Hey, Sara, how about you quit messing around and help us look? The Edelweiss still requires maintenance. Your own brother's gone missing here, and you'd rather be doing maintenance work than look? It's because he's missing that I'm doing this. We have no idea when he'll be back, but making sure the Edelweiss is ready for him is the best thing I can do for him now. <sighs> Not like I care either way. I hear what you're saying, kid. Just be sure you rest up while you can. You've been working since first thing this morning. You're Squad 7's only tank pilot. If you pass out on us, we're all toe up, hear me? 
Getting a good night's rest is another thing you can do for your brother right now. I understand. Thank you for your advice, Largo. Oh, sure. Welcome. I... I couldn't do anything for that poor man. He was lying there asking me for help. But all I could do was watch him die. That's not true. You helped him in a way only you could, Alicia. The look on his face when he passed on wasn't one of pain. No, I guess you're right. Thank you, Welkin. I'd always just thought of the Imperials as monsters out to kill Gallians. But they're just as human as we are, huh? With families of their own to fight for. Yeah, they are. It's like the war started and we all forgot that. It's so simple, but... If we weren't at war, he might be back at home with his family now. <sighs> hey, Welkin. Did I ever tell you I don't have one? A family, I mean. I grew up in an orphanage. I don't even know my parents' names. No, you didn't. But maybe I'm actually lucky, huh? If you... If you never have a family in the first place, you can't ever lose them. I guess being all alone has its perks. <laughs> Don't even joke about it. You know you're not alone. You've got me and Ys, everybody in Squad 7. We're all a family now, Alicia. Squad 7? A family? Sure. I'm the dad, you're the mom, Rosie and Isara are like daughters. And Largo is the grandpa. Come on, can't you see it? <laughs> if he heard that, you know Largo would kick your butt. Sure, we have our share of fights, but they say that best friends fight the most, right? Yeah. So don't go saying you're all on your own. You hear me? All right, Wilkin. And thanks. Huh? The helmet and rifle? They belong to Fritz, sir. Are you two the ones who laid him to rest? Yes. There are signs of medical treatment inside the cabin, sir. Why then? Explain to me the reasons you had to save his life. He was delirious. He was crying out for his mother. We may be enemies in this war, but we all have families waiting for us at home. As a human being, I couldn't just sit by and watch a man in pain without trying to do something. We always called him a mama's boy, sir. And now... Sorry, Fritz. I wish we could have been there for you. And you, son, do you have a family? Yes. I have a younger sister. And I have another sort of family as well. I have the soldiers of my squad. I see. I have a wife and daughter back at home. I feel the same as you. My men are like a second family to me. Thank you. Thank you for honoring Fritz as you did. I'm sure his mother will appreciate it. I suppose we'll meet again on the battlefield. I'm sorry for that. You both seem like good people. For now, so long. I guess we should hurry back and join the squad. You're right.
The gunshots from before came from around here. The rest of the squad may still be in combat close by. First, we've got to meet back up with the squad. Ready to go, Alicia? Alicia, how's that ankle doing? Just fine. I'm A-OK -okay here. I saw some black smoke in the distance. That could be the other sevens. But black smoke would mean... they could be engaging the enemy. Right. There could be enemies near us, too. Let's get back to the others ASAP. Go. Protect the tank, soldiers. Now. Yes. <laughs> Who are these guys? Hostile sighted. Tighten up perimeter defenses. Keep your eyes peeled out there. 
Hostile sighted. It's an awfully cold morning. Focus on that weapon of theirs. My turn, okay? to go. Enemy sighted. How does the other side look? Take this! Yes! You're doing well. Just keep <sighs> it up. Gotta love nature. Don't pass up a chance to attack. Dawn's coming. Is visibility improving any? Focus on that weapon of theirs.
Ready to go. Enemy sighted. Medic! Just a little longer. Almost there. Alicia! Alicia! Stay with me! Stay sharp if you want to keep your head. Advance. I don't want now. I pull through. Gotta love nature. Here we go. Hostile sighted! Take this! Yes! Man down. Everybody be careful. Enemy sighted! Now's your chance! Enemy sighted! Okay? Keep your eyes peeled for hidden enemies. Now! Hm. You're doing well. Just keep it up. through. <sighs> Alicia, how's that ankle doing? to go. Hostile sighted! Ah. Yes! Man down. Everybody be careful. Enemy sighted! You got any ammo left over there? Turn, okay? Report. What is the enemy up to there? <sighs> Pull it together. Now! Hm. Who are these guys? Okay? Now! I've got a visual here, commencing attack. Is the sun 
mind helping to improve visibility yet? Here we go. dodging me. It's an awfully cold morning. Roger! Ready to go. The 
enemy could be hiding anywhere. Dawn's coming. Is visibility improving any? We're back, everybody. Sorry to worry you. Wilkes! Oh, good! Are you hurt at all? No, we're fine. What's your status here? We were unable to break through the enemy line without you to lead the Edelweiss. Now that you're back, we'll launch a tank offensive on your command. All right, good. Squad 7, commence the attack! My turn, okay? Don't pass up a chance to attack. All units, report.
Entering combat. Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. We're clear to advance. I'm on it. Medic! Stay with us! It won't be long now! Please! We need help! I don't want to go anywhere. Please avoid it! Let me help! Yeah. Everybody be careful. Roger! Sustain. Try my best. Wow, now it won't hurt when I trip. Medic! Please stay strong. I'm on my way. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. I see one. Thank you. Focus on that weapon. 
weapon of theirs. Underminer fire! Minor damage sustained. Excited. I'll cover you! You're gonna get shot! I'm impressed, but not surprised. My turn, okay? Dodging. Now! Protect the tank, soldiers! Hm. Just keep up this pace!
damage sustained. Entering combat! Everybody be careful. Entering combat! Can you break through the front line? Hostile sighted! Protect the tank, soldiers! soil. Don't even think of 
dodging. Operation complete. We took their base. Lieutenant Gunther reporting for duty. We really missed you, boss. Lieutenant, that is. Isara, aren't you going to welcome your brother back home? <laughs> you was worried about him, weren't you? Welcome back, Wilkes. I'm glad you're all right. 
Thanks. So am I. Largo? And Rosie? Thank you for looking for my brother. I'm in your debt. <laughs> Having some dark hair thank me. Well, it's weird. Good to see him in one piece, though. You gotta admit that, right? Well, it was an adventure, all right. And pretty scary, too. But I feel like I got to know you a little better. And when you said that Squad 7 was like your second family, it made me feel... I felt really happy. So... Thanks for that, Welkin. Chapter 9, A Midsummer Incident. Welkin Gunther reporting, Captain. Hey, Welkin. You got called in too, Folio? I apologize for calling the two of you in on an off-duty day. Princess Cordelia has graciously extended banquet invitations to the three of us. What? But why us? It seems you two will be recognized for your successes at Vassal and more recent ops. The event will be held tomorrow at the castle. Oh, I'm not really good with the formal stuff. What are you, crazy? Do you have any clue how rare a chance to meet the princess is? They say that House Rangris, the Archdukes of Gallia, are descended from the Valkyra. If that's true, Princess Cordelia herself is a Valkyria, and we get an audience with her. Well, yeah, I guess. Just don't forget to wear dress uniforms, gentlemen. I'll meet you both at Castle Randgrees tomorrow evening. You're dismissed until then. Yeah, so much for my plans to go bird watching tomorrow. They don't mess this up. Sorry to keep you, Captain. Goodness, Welkin, I hardly recognized you. Yes, Captain. Alicia helped me get ready this evening. She kept punching me when I told her she couldn't come with me. I'm still sore. <laughs> well, consider it combat experience. Wow, Welkin. No grass stains or anything. Very funny, Faldio. Nice hat, by the way. Yeah, I never did like the look of these ugly things. I've been boycotting them. Hey, don't you all look nice. Good evening, Miss Ellet. Here to cover the banquet tonight? You know it. Apparently, an ambassador from the Federation's been invited to the party. I smell a plan to sign up an alliance between Gallia and the Federation at work here. But Gallia's national policy has always been to shun alliances and remain neutral. I figure it's mostly the idea of Prime Minister Borg, Princess Cordelia's regent. He's using her youth as carte blanche to do whatever he and the other nobles want. With all due respect, the princess isn't much more than a mouthpiece for his policies now. Ugh. We're about to attend a banquet, and now I've gone and lost my appetite. It's about time to enter. Let's go. Your Highness, thank you for your presence on this occasion. Might you grace this assemblage with a word? Uh, 
Honored ladies and gentlemen, if I may, I appear before you today at the peak of joy. For now, two great powers join together. Galia and the Federation pledge their allegiance as we seek to build together an eternal peace for Europa. Know this. The honor of dear Galia, in fact her very freedom, is currently under attack and hangs by the thinnest thread you can imagine. But, while Princess Cordelia remains on the throne, she who is the scion of the Valkyra's ancient blood promise, no force on this earth will ever see this nation defeated. Is that not so, Princess? Yes. I draw strength from the Valkyrian bloodline. And my heart is a repository of justice. I am nearly at a loss for words. The privilege of brokering peace with you, your highness, has been the greatest honor of my life, and I thank you for it. With bountiful stores of Ragnite, and your strategic position between East and West, you've become the foundation of Europa. In this time of peril, the foundation is grateful, and happily joins hands in crushing the Imperial threat before us. <laughs> They just want to be sure they're the ones who control us when this is over. Make no mistake, the Federation would conquer Europa the same as the Empire. This is stupid. It is hard to accept what he's saying. As long as we fight as one, the Empire's forces will never be a danger. We shall topple the Empire and rid the world of their threat. And then we shall unify Europa and govern under our great banners. All of Europa. Well, there's something we haven't heard before. We're not fighting this war so we can invade another country. Absolutely. All we want is to keep our homes and our families safe. Now, my friend, let us put an end to all these formalities and raise a glass to honor this historic alliance. Yes, a toast to the shining future that awaits. Cheers! Cheers! <sighs> Where are you going? I've got a bad taste in my mouth. This is garbage. I'm out of here. I'm going home, Welkin. See ya. Faldio? <sighs> I'm glad that's over. We should be heading back soon. I believe the exit was this way. Oh! <laughs> Princess Cordelia! I'm so terribly sorry. Are you all right, Your Highness? I am unharmed. I cannot begin to apologize. Please forgive my clumsiness. Do not trouble yourself. I bid you a safe return and a good night. <sighs> Your Highness, are you really in support of an alliance with the Federation? Lieutenant Gunther, have you lost your mind? Please forgive me. I'm aware that what I'm saying may be out of line. But I... Seeing you tonight, I got the feeling that your opinion is being ignored. I am still young. All political matters are handled by my regent, Borg. The protection of Galia and of the Valkyrian bloodline is my fated onus. Their protection does not require my personal feelings. I need only live by the laws set forth by those who come before me. I bid you once more, good night. Your Highness. Do you copy? It's me. The Mark is alone. Now is our chance. You know the plan. Have the armored car on standby. Once I have the Mark, I'll be there.
Well, I'll leave you here. Good night, Wilkin. Good night, Captain. Wait! Hold it, Verat! Verat! Terrible news! General Damon, what's the problem? P Princess Cordelia's been kidnapped! Kidnapped? Yes! It was that Federation ambassador. He was a spy all along. So the Federation takes her under their protection, and Galia along with her. Typical, considering the sorts of backroom dealings and extortion they've used till now. So get on it! Verat, you've got to get her back! Understood. Lieutenant, gather your squad immediately. Yes, Captain. See? What is that thing? It's an airplane. The first test flight succeeded during EW-1. Now research is going on all over the world. Whoa, so this is what one of those things looks like. Man, I want up in one. Oh, hello, Leon. Chris? Hey, Sara, you got the day off. What are you hanging around here for? Wait, let me guess. Are you building this airplane, Isara? Yes. There's still a ways to go before it's complete, but the basic construction is done. Leave it to you, Isara. You learned all this on your own? I'm working from documents my father collected before his death. That's amazing. I'm so impressed. So where are you flying to once it's all done? Going on a trans tour, maybe? First, I'd like to take my brother up in it. Once, when we were young, he and I were out bird watching when he mentioned it. That he wished he could fly like they did. That's my goal. I've been pursuing this project bit by bit in my free time. Oh, that's real sweet. Isara, can I ask you a favor? Please, let me help you build your airplane. What? I want to become an engineer of your caliber someday, Isara. I feel like watching you work would help me learn a great deal. Please, Isara. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hey, then can I help out too? Come on. You don't mind? Of course not. I may not look bright, but I've been working my butt off in R&D for a while. Of course. Well, thank you both. All right! That's the emergency siren. What's happening at this hour? Let's ready the Edelweiss. I'm sure that whatever it is, it's urgent. Absolutely. I'll help you prep it. We have an emergency on our hands. Princess Cordelia has been kidnapped by Federation operatives.
Your mission is to rescue Her Highness unharmed. Failure isn't an option on this one, soldiers. They can't get to the harbor. We stop them here. Squad 7, move out. To the harbor, full steam. The ship's waiting there to take us out of Galia. Apologies for the cramped quarters, your highness. We'll have you comfortable soon. <sighs> Lieutenant, it's likely the ambassador has the princess with him inside that armored vehicle. Use firearms to stop it with minimal force, then recover the princess. Don't lose them. Tank shells, anti-tank lances, and grenades are off limits. You could harm the princess. Understood, Captain. Wilkes, even if we can't attack with it, the Edelweiss can still block their path. Yeah, on a narrow road like this, there's no room to slip past a tank in your way. Sounds like a plan. Let's get the princess back safe. Okay? Enemy unit spotted! Don't even think of dodging! Please hit! Don't come out of cover until you have to! Beat Empire! out of there safely. Act quickly and cleanly.
damn! They can't get to the harbor. We stop them here. Squad 7, move out. Here we go! Welks, do you see the vehicle's headlights? You're right. We can use those lights to tell its position and orientation. Pry the way open by force. Now's your chance! Units report in. My turn, okay? Enemy unit spotted. Vehicle sighted. My turn, okay? What are you doing? Don't... Golly and Tank, sighted ahead, sir. Clever little monkeys. Less easy. I'm on.
Let's do this thing. Entering combat. in again they're testing my patience incoming relay sir the tank in our way has been identified as militia squad seven <sighs> the ones who attended the banquet just our luck to be spotted by glory hounds squad seven that officer from the banquet Mr. Ambassador, Allied units have reached their station, sir. <laughs> you don't get to be my age without learning to plan for contingencies. Damn, they had backup waiting in the wings. Keep an eye on enemy positions when moving, Sevens. Ready to move out. 
Follow me. We'll make it through. Hostile identified. All units, report. By the way, oh. Medic! Don't you worry. I'll take care of it. Medic, over here, quickly! Don't come out of cover until you have to. I'm on it. Enemy sighted. Entering combat. Fire, blow them to pieces. I know you're back there. <laughs> I have the pa- I don't want to go anywhere. Let's do this thing. Now, attack the vehicle. New target sighted. Go down! Target armored car sighted. Let's do this thing. Go down! I'm on it. I'm on it. 
Ambassador, the vehicle's taken damage. It won't last long at this rate, sir. Make it last long enough. It just needs to get us to that harbor. As soon as the princess is on Federation land, we'll own this little country. The vehicle's taken heavy damage. It won't be long now. This is an order! Attack with everything you've got! I'm on it. Enemy sighted. Go down! Enemy unit neutralized. I'm on it. New target sighted. Go down! I'm on it. Go down! Operation complete. Let's get her highness out of there. Your highness, are you all right? I am unharmed. Oh, good. Being princess ain't all fancy dinners, huh? Gotta be hard carrying a whole country. Can it, Rosie? That's the princess of Gallia you're talking to. No, it's quite all right. She speaks the truth. As scion of the Valkyrer, it is my fate to live and die for Galia's well-being. Are you sure that isn't just your excuse, Your Highness? What? If you label the status quo fate, you can run from the responsibility of changing it. You too, Welkin. Have a little respect here. Every living thing in this world struggles to live and pass life on to a new generation. They use all the instincts and animal wisdom they can just to live that one day longer. That powerful animal will to live is... I think it's a beautiful part of nature. Your Highness may be descended from Valkyra, and that may carry a burden. The old ways and traditions you follow may be important to uphold. But I hope that you won't throw away the will to live your own life because of them. That's enough, Welkin. Give it a rest. Perhaps it is as you say, and I have been running from responsibility unknowingly. It is indeed mine to consider my life's role within the Valkyrian bloodline. Y your Highness. 
I am most envious of your ability to speak your mind so frankly. But time enough remains to consider my role by my own will. Thank you for your words, Lieutenant. Not at all. Uh. Wow! Even a princess's gut will wake up and say hi when it's empty. I... I am. Rumbling bellies are a clever bit of animal wisdom all humans share. Alicia, have we got anything to eat? You bet. I brought some of the cinnamon rolls I baked this morning. Here you are, Your Highness. Thank you kindly. I have not had such bread before, but it is quite agreeable. <laughs> I'm glad. All right. Let's get Her Highness back to the capital. And so Princess Cordelia returned, safe through the efforts of Militia Squad 7. Its leader, Welkin Gunther, was celebrated as rescuer to the nation's sovereign and awarded the prestigious Gallian Medal of Honor. Lieutenant Welkin Gantha, step forward. Sir, for excellence in valor and deed, you are hereby awarded this honor. Your Highness, please bestow the medal upon the young lieutenant. Gladly. Congratulations, Lieutenant Gunther. Thank you, Your Highness. Though I have yet to reach an answer, your question drives me still. To understand my responsibility as sovereign and as a single human life. Your Highness. Oh, and know that one tradition already lies sundered by my will. I had the cooks add cinnamon rolls to my daily breakfast. Alicia will be happy to hear it. Lieutenant Gunther, you forget yourself. Sir, my apologies. With this, today's ceremonies are ended. Highness, would you grace us with a word? Lieutenant Gunther, I hope your allegiance to Gallia stands firm evermore. Yes, Princess. Something more I have not told you. Please be safe. Welkin, I'm coming in. Sure, it's open. Is that it? Not bad, man. You sure made a name for yourself this time. It was pure luck I was there. So have you seen the headlines? The ones that say nothing about the kidnapping? That reporter tells me Borg's the one pressuring the media into suppressing it. But why suppress it? If word got out about what happened, Galia's relationship with the Federation would suffer. We've got our hands full fending off the Empire. We can't afford a war on two fronts. So he has the whole thing covered up. I'll bet he goes on acting like it never happened. Wow. Welkin, this hurts. It's painfully obvious how shaky Gallia's standing is. I know the world's history is an endless chain of big fish eating little fish. Both of us know the weak bow to the strong. It's history and it's nature. A minor nation like ours is an easy mark even before you had the rift within our army. Welkin, no offense, but I hope nature's wrong this time. I don't know what to tell you, Faldio. Chapter 10, 
Liberation of Thousand. How have you been, Your Highness? Very well, Lieutenant Gunther. And all the better for seeing you again. I thank you again for the valor you showed in assisting me that night. Not at all. I was just relieved to see you were unharmed, Highness. It wasn't until I saw my friends gawk at that medal that I realized how special it was. <laughs> you truly are a rare individual. It is the duty of a nation to acknowledge and reward the loyal deeds of its people. Medals and trinkets are the only form we have, but we ask that you wear them proudly. Yes, ma'am, and thank you, Your Highness. I hear your accomplishments do not end with that knight's bravery, either. The stories of your accomplishments suggest I owe you a great deal more than that. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, Step forward. In honor of your manifold accomplishments, you are hereby awarded this honor. Highness, it's an honor. May your allegiance to Gallia stand firm evermore. again oh and there have been
come back. We've been given orders for our next mission. The militia's taking back the city of Fausen. Fausen's that big industrial city with all those ragnite mines, right? Yes. If we manage to reclaim it, it'll be a shot in the arm to Gallia's productivity. Sounds good. So what's the plan, boss? The militia will break up into squads and set up a perimeter around the city. Once that's set, Squad 7 takes the point. Here. Look at this. An armored rail vehicle? Right. They installed it to defend their hold on the city. Now our mission is to destroy it. Yeah, okay, so we destroy it. Any idea how we take on a beast like that? Gonna take a lot more than a pack of soldiers marching at it to do that, boss. Don't worry. We've got some hefty support on this one. Support? Like who? You know that Darksons from Empire-held areas have been brought there, right? I've heard stories, yes. That they're being used as forced labor in the Ragnite mines and weapons factories. According to Captain Barat, one of the men in the camps is acting as our agent. Here I get my hopes up and it's just some dark hair? Go what do you mean by that? Hmm. I'm just saying, I hope this guy's not as stubborn as someone else we know. Please stop judging people solely by your preconceptions. All Darksons are different. Sure could have fooled me. I couldn't tell you dark hair's apart if I tried. I don't believe you have ever really tried, Rosie. No, you just didn't. Just drop it already. We're soldiers. We'll do our best out there. If the orders say work with a Darkson, we do. That said, I ain't making any promises if this guy turns out to be useless, Here. Well, we can't know for sure until we meet him, but the mission hinges on him. We begin the march on Fausen at first light. The attack begins at sundown. is unbearable. Please, some food, sir. Even water would... Keep your distance! Presumptuous, dark-haired, filthy. Where is the one responsible for this hovel? You rang? I hear a worker in Sector D has been disobeying his work orders. Would you care to explain this infraction? He's not disobeying you. He's been sick as a dog for a couple of days now. Folks from other camps working D Sector have gotten sick lately too. One's in a coma. That's where they handle Ragnite Refinery. Sure the toxic exhaust's being handled right? <laughs> That's no concern of yours or mine. You animals need only be silent and obey. Let's think of it this way. You drive them to death and the work stops getting done. That doesn't help you much, eh? Hmm. <laughs> I'll let you know as soon as he can work. Think you could let him rest for now? <laughs> Very well. Have him return to work the minute he's able. And remember, no one would miss the likes of a few of you maggots. Here is your mission brief.
there are no... Our top priority is to get to the rendezvous point. Squad 7, move out! Well, this is Fawzan. Looks like a complicated layout. Let's move carefully here. We don't want to be spotted. Here we go! Enemy sighted! cars around town. Their path is fixed, and they can only fit one person, but they may get you behind the enemy. The air is full of smog. Somebody go swap those flies down. Smell of fresh soil. Oh, poor people. We'll be there to help soon. Try to approach the enemy's blind spot. It's a big enough target. Try not to miss it. Surprised. Alert! Alert! You're on enemy 
Here we go! Just watch this. Please back up to me. Keep the 
Turn, okay? Hmm. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. soil. Watch out for stray bullets.
I'm on it. Okay? The air is full of smog. The air seems smoggy. Enemy sighted! Entering combat! Sustain. Underminer fire. Entering combat! Now! Alright! Wow, now it won't hurt when I trip! Thank you. Entering combat. Oh, gotta love nature. Now! Just keep up this pace. The air seems smoggy. Try not to take any needless actions. The smell of fresh soil. Try to conserve it. Try to keep a grasp on your surround.
My turn, okay? Enemy sighted! Entering combat! Enemy sighted! He is full of smog. your magic you hear me new target sighted go down I'm on it. go down Empire! Don't give them time to think. I'm ready to go. Try to approach the enemy's blind spot. for stray bullets.
watch me dance. Let me help. Ah! Next partner. Good. That makes things a bit easier. Let's do this thing. Try not to take any needless action. Go down! Huh. I'm on it. Entering combat. There's poor people. We'll be there to help soon. Let's do this thing. Good. Move on to the next target. Here we go. Roger! I'll make it work. Entering combat! Is up ahead. Continue your advance. Enemy sighted. Make good use of cover as you proceed. Fire! Entering combat. I'm ready to go. The labor camp is up ahead. Next part. 
partner. Enemy unit neutralized. Keep your eyes peeled out there. Let's do this thing. Sustain. Underminer fire. Here we go! Stay sharp if you want to keep your head. Enemy sighted! I'm impressed, but not surprised. Entering combat. <sighs> Gotta love nature. Operation complete. We're in. What the hell is this? Hey. Zaka? What brings you folks here? And how'd you get in? Welkin Gunther is my name. I was told there was a militia sympathizer here. Well, you heard right. Welkin, I'm your guy. I'm Zaka. It's nice to meet you. Hey, Pumpkin. I've got to talk some adult stuff with these folks. Would you be a good girl and go to bed for me? <sighs> okay. Good night. She's sweet. She your kid's sister? No. Both her parents died a while back. They were victims of torture. Torture? That's just horrible. Listen, we have a lot of work to do. Follow me, let's get started. As you can see, Thousand's factories are located on the canyon's edge, split between an upper and lower level. There's an armored train that services those factories. and moves on rails built into the upper level, shooting downward. If it's up there, it's completely out of our range. How do we attack it? Glad you asked. We take it down with this little wonder. 
It's a Ragnite bomb. I made it myself. I've been sneaking spare parts from under the Empire's watch for weeks. I can guarantee its power. You think one bomb's gonna blow this thing up? I'm not proposing we use it on the train. We use it on this. I get it. We take out the rails. Then the train drops into the canyon from the bridge. Exactly. You can leave the setting of the bomb to me. I want all of you to provide a diversion so I can get in there and attach the package to a strut. Once I've wired it and gotten a safe distance away, I'll give you a signal. Then you'll detonate it and destroy the bridge. Right. Sounds good. Did you have any questions about the mission then? No, I got it. Is there something else? Forget it. Oh, I get it now. You're wondering if you can trust me because I'm a Darkson, yeah? <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, tell me something you like. What? Something you enjoy. There's gotta be something, right? Um... Singing, I guess. I like to sing. And listen to other folks. Oh, musician, huh? Nice. I like to sing, too. Nothing beats a nice tune and a little stroll. Music can pick you up or make you cry. <laughs> Anthems can drive a whole country to war. That's the great thing about music. Variety. Every song is different, but it's all good. Yeah, I guess so. So what are you getting at? If you appreciate diversity in music, why hate all the Darksons? What? There's plenty of races in the world. Each has its traits, but people are all unique. Just like with music. They've all got their good points. Well, I think so anyway. Singing's more fun with a chorus, right? I agree, Zaka. There are over 30,000 kinds of beetles in the world, each with its own characteristics. It's the same for us, too. Ugh. Another one of the boss's nature talks. Beetles? <laughs> well, that's a new one. I never heard a man compare people to bugs in a good way before. I'd have to agree, though. Bickering won't do us any good. Let's try to make nice. Hmm. Okay. The operation begins tomorrow at dawn. I want everyone ready for combat. Hey, why the long face? You worried? Oh, Mr. Zaka. I just can't believe it. Believe what? I'd heard stories of the concentration camps. About the harsh labor forced upon detainees. But seeing it happen in person, I... It just seems too cruel to be true. Yeah. But this is the truth. I... The world is no friend of the Darksons. That's the truth of it. And this war has stirred up prejudice in people, so they behave inhumanely. I can sympathize with wanting to look away, but facing the truth makes a person grow. Mr. Zaka. And hey, we're still young. Let's enjoy life. It's up to us to change other folks' minds. Yes, you're right. Thank you, Mr. Zaka. As long as we don't stop reaching out, the day will come when others will accept us. Righto. But for now, it's late. The mission starts at dawn. Make sure you get some rest. I will. Good night, Mr. Zaka. Shock Trooper! 
Elites of today, you are Elites! That means clearance for flamethrowers! Come! Well... Here are details on the current operation. We're prepared to commence the operation. I look forward to good news from you. Our job is to make sure that bomb gets set. Squad 7, move out! Hey, you think you could do me a favor? Take the Northwest Bridge down first. Doing that will block enemy reinforcements and give me a chance to wire up the rail bridge. Okay, got it. I'll do that if you get the bomb ready to go. Leave it to me. I've been practicing for today for a good long while now. All right, let's move out. Cut through the enemy and head for the Northwest Bridge.
Support your advanced units. Thank you. I'm ready to go. Shots carefully, soldiers. Shall we dance? Take care of those treads. Beat Empire! I can shoot far. Roger! Get them back here! Fast! Roger. city like rats. Listen well. I want every galleon that's fool enough to enter firing range mowed down. Show these farm hands the technological superiority of the Imperial forces.
Here we go. Ah! Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. Hostiles approaching. How are those tank treads holding up? Entering combat. What? What do they want us to do against that? Armored train sighted ahead. Watch out for cannon. I got it. Why should I enjoy seeing dirt? Squad leaders, report your status.
Entering combat. Done yet? <laughs> Entering combat. I'm not done yet. Here we go. Oh, gotta love nature. Hostile sighted. Combat. Ready to go.
We can't leave here. Those people need our help. Sustain. Entering combat. Ah, gotta love nature. Target silenced. Head for the next one. Face them in an angle to help deflect fire. Oh, hey. Thousands lined with industrial lifts. They're designed to transport heavy machinery. Hit the switch and it'll take you to another level. Foot soldiers, tanks, you name it. If you look on the control panels next to the lift, you'll find the switch no problem. All right, thanks for the tip. Enemy sighted! Get close up there! have engaged the enemy. Entering combat. holding up.
Roger! Keep it dancing! I'm ready to go! Like conventional attacks will harm it. Watch me dance. Found us one. Good work. This will help facilitate the mission. Entering combat! Don't make this hard on you. The Northwest Bridge is down. Zaka, it's your turn to get that bomb set. I'm on it. It won't take a second. Okay. It's set to blow. Now it just needs a gunshot to detonate. When it goes off, the whole bridge goes too. All right, got it. I wanted to go with a time bomb, but there's no guarantee the armored train would be there. I see. This way we can wait until the target is where we want it before detonating it. Cross the central bridge and move up the east bank, and there's a great spot to shoot from. It's all yours now. Good luck getting those fireworks up on time. What was that explosion? Sir, the Gallian forces appear to have bombed the northwestern route. What? Clever, but not enough. Restore power to the work lifts. I want scouts out there reporting battle status. They can resist all they like. This rail car is impenetrable. I'll enjoy their demise. <sighs> Gotta love nature. How are those tank treads holding up? Entering combat! They're ours as long as we've got the pain train!
Entering combat. Oh, gotta love nature. Are you within firing range? Make sure to check. Hostile sight. Got a stuck here. Target locked. Try to strike the enemy's flank. Please clear a path. Hostile sighted at two o'clock. Make sure you don't forget to protect the camp. Careful near the armored rail car. Secure route. Stay sharp if you want to keep your head. Are you within firing range? Roger! Forget to protect the camp. Great Empire. How are the enemy's numbers? Shooting time. We can't lose here. Those people need our help. Please be careful near the armored rail car. Here we go! <laughs> How are those tank treads holding up?
Minor damage sustained. I'm on it. Just watch this. yet. Good work. Keep... Moving out. Take care of those treads. Keep your eyes. Here we go. Head around that way. Make sure you don't forget to protect the camp. Try my best. Face them in an angle to help deflect fire.
Thank you. How are those tank treads holding up? Berthold Gregor commands you. You are the shield that defends the Empire. Entering combat. Wait to see what they'll do. How are those tank treads holding up? Head around. That way. Down. Everybody be careful. Good work. 
Keep it up. Don't leave yourselves open. I see the enemy unit spotting. Enemy How's sighted. Man power now. Return fire! Thank you. Roger! Sustained. Here we go! Thank you. Great Empire! Just my luck. Damage 
minimal. Roger! Don't pass up a chance to attack. I'm invisible! Shooting time! You're dead! Who are these guys? Approaching. Okay? Imperial unit sighted. Please be careful. We can't move here. Those people need our help. Train sighted ahead. Moving out. Please. What? What? Status report. What's happening out there? Unknown vibrations detected. It's the bridge! It's collapsing! Ah! Cowards! Too afraid to face me directly. is the bedrock of the Empire itself! Unshakable!
Yes, we dropped the armored train. Lieutenant, there's an emergency. Imperial soldiers are fleeing the city. They've set fire to the Darkson concentration camp. The barracks are in flames. Get over there, now! What? No! everyone. They forced everyone to go into this building, then set it on fire. For what? She was just a kid. Somebody tell me who did this. I'll tear their stinking heads off! And what would that accomplish? Revenge! That's what? Fight fire with fire? An eye for an eye? Didn't enough people die today? Even if our traditions lead us to death at the hands of others, we don't respond with violence. When we die, we die for peace. That is how the Darkson live their lives. Now those lives are gone. Forever. But why? I could hate them. Maybe even kill them. But that wouldn't bring those people back. All I can really do... ...is try to survive... ...and help the ones who are still here. Be other survivors. Everybody, help us look. Thanks in part to Squad 7's efforts, militia forces reclaimed the city of Fausen. Returning from battle, the squad's members enjoyed a brief and well-deserved respite. I was walking across base just now, and the guys from Squad 2 stopped me. They said everybody felt like we got Fausen back because of us Sevens. Well, yeah. We took down that train, after all. I want a medal. I wonder how Zaka and everyone are doing. I hear most of the detainees have either stayed on in Fausen or evacuated to Rangri's. Oh. Well, I hope they're all doing well now. Yo. M Mr. Zaka? Huh? Wait, that uniform! Oh, this? As of today, I'm a Gallian militiaman, same as you. They put me in your squad. So we'll be seeing a lot of each other. Wait, just a... Can you even fight? What was all that about living the Darkson way? Eh, don't sweat the details, right? And I've got experience as a tank commander. My ride's on the smallish side, but you can leave the ground unit support to me. And I thought your boss was pretty righteous. I figured I'd tag along and see for myself. What? Me? We didn't get to talk much, but you've got a fresh perspective, you know? Hmm, I guess so. I don't think I'm much different than other folks, though. Welkin, you're so clueless. Anyhow, I'm excited to join the team. <laughs> huh. Chapter 11, The Marbury Shore.
Everybody gather round. I've got our orders. The target is on Galia's northern coast. The enemy's entrenched along the shore flanking the industrial region up north. Squad 7 has been given one of their camps at Marbury to suppress. Hmm. Looking at the map, seems there's nothing there but big cliffs and open sand. As you approach the cliffs, the beach slopes up steeply. Their camp is at the top. The path leading up there is narrow, meaning infantry will have to take the lead here. That said, they've lined the cliffside with gunnery to combat incoming foot soldiers. You telling us to dodge bullets running across an open beach with nothing for cover? Boss, I may be catty, but I ain't got nine lives here. Stop your complaining. We're soldiers, Rosie. Ain't no such thing as a safe mission. Dangerous or not, it's our job to get the job done as best we can. You don't gotta... I know that, all right? You're right. If we just charge in, you'll be facing a hailstorm of bullets. Welkin, any more brilliant ideas for another of your crazy plans? Hmm. Sorry, but... I don't have any silver bullets for this one. What we need is some way to blind the enemy while we advance. A way to... blind them. Ugh, this is just great. Come on, let's stay positive about this. Tomorrow's the Feast of All Spirits. Combat on the feast, huh? We sure got some kind of luck, don't we? Well, getting down about it now won't help anything. Let's just do what we can. If we could... Hmm. They may not need nine lives. Somebody said tomorrow's the feast, right? I forgot all about it this year. Hey now, do you guys even know the reason for this holiday? Reason? It's the day you give presents to the guy you like, ain't it? Yes, but no. The Feast of All Spirits is the day all the spirits in Galia share their love. They say the practice of giving gifts to those you love came from that belief. Back in the day, people gave presents to everyone important to them, not just lovers. Bingo! Give the man a prize! For a big grizzly bear, you sure know your stuff. How gracious of you to say. <laughs> Though I like to think I'm more of a teddy bear. Largo, Rosie, may I have a moment? Sure. Surprised to see you in the lounge. What's up? Would you accept these gifts? This is... from before. These dolls are darks and good luck charms. I wanted to give them to you and Rosie. Why to us? I... I've always wanted to be your friend, from the first day. We may have had our share of disagreements, but you've helped me more than I can say. I'd like to use the feast as an opportunity to grow a little closer to both of you. I see. You know, seeing Fausen gave me a lot to think about. Plus, I... you know... I've been wanting to talk to you for a while now, too. For being so young, you got some perspective. Still a little bullheaded, though. Thanks for the lucky charm, and for coming out here, Isara. Largo, thank you so much. I... I can't take it. Rosie, you ain't a kid here. Quit being so damn stubborn already. You shut it! I just... Look, I got no need for presents from dark hairs, okay? I understand. I'm sorry. I'll be on my way now. 
Yeah, I think I'm done too. Look, I know you've been wanting to apologize. Just out and say it already, damn it. Look, shut up. I know, okay? I know, but I. I can't just change overnight. I'm not that big a person. <laughs> it's just too open. We need some kind of plan. Welcome. Hank! What happened to you? You're covered in dirt, Alicia. Yeah. <laughs> Funny story about that. Anyway, I've got something I want to show you. Come see. Look real close at my hands. That's... You found a mottled vagabond. They're migratory butterflies, but they shouldn't be in Galia at this time of year. It's pretty rare, then? They call it a vagabond because it never stays in one place. They're hard to find. I've tried to hunt one down more than once before, but I never had any luck. Then you like it? Absolutely. Thank you, Alicia. But you've still got to tell me how you found it. I I'm amazed. Me and Hans caught it. My world. You and Hans? Wait, is all that dirt? <laughs> I've never been bug hunting before. I got a little mud plastered. I mean, tomorrow's the Feast of All Spirits. I wanted to get you something you'd like. I brainstormed on what you might like best, and this is what I finally came up with. Wow. Thank you. Not the most romantic gift ever, but it seemed right for you. You went to all that trouble for me? Thank you, Alicia. I'm happy I got to see such a rare specimen, but I'm even happier at the sentiment. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Um, Welkin? They say if you give a present to the guy you like on the feast, things will go well for you. I hope things go well for the two of us. I mean... Huh? I... Me too. Isara, I don't think Rosie really meant to hurt you. No, I... I know that, Mr. Zaka. But I do wonder if dreams of a future in which we're all equal will only bring pain. No, don't get impatient on me. Getting close to somebody takes time, Isara. People don't just change overnight. That said, nothing in this world doesn't change. Yes, I know. Even if slowly, change will happen. Exactly. So don't let it get you down. She's just worked up over tomorrow's operation. Tomorrow's op? Oh, that's right! I need to speak with Welks about the plan. What plan? You come up with a solution for those guns? If we modify something I've been developing, it may provide our ground troops protection. I'll go speak with Welks about it now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye? Hey, Isara! And she's gone. Those two really are siblings. They get into something and they're in their own world. Hey, boss. We, uh, got a plan today? Well, Isara and I came up with a little something last night. Speaking of, Isara still isn't here, is she? I apologize for being late. Welks, it's done! 
you finished in time. Yes, these smoke rounds should help keep our foot soldiers safe from fire. Smoke rounds? A new type of tank cannon rounds. They don't do any damage, but they create a smoke screen. If we run through those, we'll be able to move without being sighted. Can you just finish them now? <laughs> so you didn't sleep at all last night, huh? The Sevens are like my family. Alicia, Rosie, Largo, Mr. Zaka, Welks, little Hans, too. I don't want... None of you can die. If those smoke screens can protect you even a little, it'll be well worth it. Isara, you... Nice going, kiddo. With these things, we'll be practically invisible. Yeah, this battle just got a lot less scary. Thanks, Isara. All right, let's get ready. Squad 7, move out! Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. In honor of your manifold accomplishments, you are hereby awarded this honor. Highness, it's an honor. Furthermore, for your squad's exemplary performance in the final battle, this royal award. Thank you, Your Highness. May your allegiance to Gaia stand firm evermore. Come back. Here is a brief on the task at hand.
Now, let's begin the operation. I'm confident victory is within reach. Clear out the Imperial shoreline defenses. Squad 7, move out! Here we are, the Marbury Shore. There really isn't any cover at all out here. Welks, aim the smoke rounds at the ground or at objects, not at the enemy. That should spread the smoke screen around that area. Got it. I'll do what I can. My shamrock can't fire smoke rounds, but I'll pick up the slack on offense. That's right. This is our first op with you, Saka. Good to have you. Wouldn't miss it. Now let's go sock one to the Empire. Screens will dissipate a short while after they're fired, Welks. Plus, a blast from a mortar, grenade, or anti-tank lance will blow it away instantly. Understood. Let's be careful. Where shall we aim, Welks? I'm on it. Let's do this thing. After me, kiddos. Leave it to me. My turn, okay? I'm going in. Cover me.
You Joker still all right? Give him a chance to attack. You Joker still all right? I'll try my best. Front lines, return fire. Support your advance units. Way ahead of you. I have visual confirmation on the enemy camp ahead. Make sure to provide ample support for your foot soldiers. Beach. We managed to avoid the threat of the enemy's machine guns, at least for now. Moving out! Just watch this. They're 
gunfire is accepted. an enemy found us an enemy Just watch this. Okay? Keep your eyes peeled out there. Do 
doing well. Just keep it up. Please it back up to me. Let's do this thing. Everybody be careful. Enemy sighted. <laughs> Ain't no stopping me. I'm on it. Just watch this.
Roger. Take a good look at your surroundings. this. Just watch this. You got it, hon. Let's do this thing. Man down. Everybody be careful.
Right away. Well, think you can slip through? You got it, hon. Just watch this. You Joker's still all right? You're done! You Joker's still all right? Don't stay lumped in one place. Spread out! Entering combat!
right away. Keep an eye on the distance between you and them. Enemy spotted. Speed is the key to mission completion. Stick it out, soldiers. Enemy unit sighted. Be careful, soldiers. <laughs> Miss Alicia. Great Empire. Medic. You've got to stay strong. Keep fighting. I'm begging you! Help! Please! You're gonna get shot. Target pilot. I'm on. Ah, oh, this place is a dust trap. Advance cautiously. I'm taking extra special care. Please head for the objective. Thank you. 
you, sure. Please back up to me. Listening to me. Ah! All units, watch your surroundings. Yay. Who are these 
disguised. How are the enemy's numbers? Entering combat. Okay? It's dangerous to stay grouped together in one spot. Please keep the enemy's position in mind. Got it, hon. Come in. I repeat, come in. My turn, okay? Please back up to me.
we go. Empire! I can shoot far! Enemy there! Shooting time! You're dead! Who are these guys? Beat Empire! Don't stay locked in one place! Spread out! Everybody be careful.
does it seem like you can break... and of my fools. Let's do this thing. Roger! Confirmation on the enemy camp ahead. 